Hello friends, welcome to a new video of Elliot Crypto Corner. Today, we will talk about some coins. Unfortunately, the market is giving us another opportunity to go down before possibly going up again, which means the price can go down a bit before potentially moving higher. We're not concerned about this because we have a long-term investment plan for these coins, and we will calmly assess where we stand. Moving forward, let's discuss Casper. The likelihood of its further upward movement depends on how we set our levels. For instance, if we say it's level dependent, then there's a chance the price could reach as low as 0.04 and then another drop could occur. However, a pattern is forming here with a head and shoulders, but it doesn't necessarily mean it should follow that pattern since it's showing a bullish reaction around the 0.618 level. The mild upward direction is evident. Next, let's shift our focus to FET. Our perspective on this is positive. Based on Fibonacci levels and other indicators, it has the potential to reach around $1 and seems to align well. Now, let's turn our attention to QNT, which is still within its range. It might go a bit lower. There's a possibility of going around $0.65, cents, which could be a 22% drop, maybe a bit more. Is entering now a bad idea? Not at all because there's no guarantee for this coin. Our strategy is to enter a bit early for some added security and exit a bit later for more safety. Moving on, let's take a look at Render. According to our analysis, it has performed well and reached our target of $1.40. Can it go further? We consider a potential maximum pain level around $0.95 for Render, and afterward, it might continue. We also have other potential higher areas around $4.51. A similar situation is seen with Solana. We were a bit cautious last week, thinking it would test the lower boundary and then continue. We resume from where we left off. It's saddening that things dropped, but no, it's not necessary. Our maximum pain level is at 16, so we might see a deep drop with Solana as well. Let's move to another potential candidate, Flux. Looking at the chart, there was an opportunity for a jump around 82 cents, but it didn't happen. What's ahead for Flux? Checking the chart, we might see another drop below 38 cents. If Flux breaks this trend line, there's a potential for a rebound and significant momentum. Let's move to VV. Our maximum pain level is at 0.0032. We might see a slight upward trend before a notable downward direction. It's a bullish pattern but we believe it can be bought after a significant drop, leading to a potential 4-4% increase. Like Flux, this situation might not play out entirely, as the coin market is volatile. Now, let's focus on Gala Games. Here too, we have a similar situation. A slight drop might occur first, followed by the potential for an upward momentum after the initial positive move. The outcome is uncertain, and Gala Games could perform better again. If you liked the video, please give it a like, enjoy your beautiful Monday, look forward to the coming week, and then we'll see you again. Thank you.